Hi, welcome to myprojectpasa.com. Our project title is Learning Phenotype Structure Using Sequence Model. The abstract of our project is a microarray is a collection of small DNA spots attached to a solid surface. In microarray experiments, the signal collected from each spot is used to estimate the expression level of a gene. A microarray contains thousands of DNA spots. An essential problem in microarray data analysis is discover phenotype structures. The objectives are discovering groups of samples. For each assembly of samples, discover the typical expression patterns. The collective drawback is that the recognized signatures often include a large number of genes but with low discriminative power. <coughs> Here we propose a model is G-star sequence model to report this constraint. Let's go for data flow diagram. First, our process is the data mining. So we are here. We have to load the data set. After load the, loading the data set into the database, we have to pre-process the data. After that, we have to compute the similarities. That is the uh, occurrences of the data. And finally, we have to uh, evaluate the performance using matrix computation. After that, we have to classify the malignant and benignant. Now I am going to show the demo of our process. First run from home.java. Here we have to choose the data set for data mining process. This is our data set attributes. Next we have to load into the database. These are the attributes of the particular data set. Next, we have to pre process the loaded data. The data, the data pre process is just successfully finished. After that, we go for sampling. We are just sampling the values as 1 and 2. Next, we go for standard deviation. First, we have to here choose the attributes of our data. These are the selected attributes in our process. Next, we have to find out the standard deviation. Next, we have to construct the entropy, conditional entropy and relevance. First, we are going to find out the entropy. This is the entropy values. Next is conditional entropy. Here the relevance which is computed. Next step is similarity computation. Next step is matrix computation for the each features. Here we have to find out the matrix for each representatives. So it matches with one another. From that we, we can define the matrix. This is the final similarity between the attributes. Next we are going to cluster the attributes. We are just clustered it is a 1 and 2. <coughs> and the cluster 1 values which are selected with their ID. This is cluster 1 and this is the ID for cluster 1 and for cluster 2. Next is the final step, which is the signature detection, which is we are going to classify the malignant and benignant. This is the most affected data IDs, which is classified in the cluster. Next is benignant values. Finally, we have to evaluate the performance of existing and proposed work.
This shows the accuracy of the proposal system. Next is the discriminative power signature signature. Here it shows the existing system and it shows the proposal system of the signature. Thanks for watching.